Uh, we started about um, three and a half months ago in February and we had a fairly large squad and then we basically uh, whittled them down to, to the squad of 26 that we have at the moment. We've had a few practice games as well, three, three or four practice games. The boys have come together quite well, there's a good spirit good in, and the enthusiasm levels are quite high. So during the tournament what we want to see is um, team cohesion, we want to see the lads chilling together and overall we obviously want to win the competition. Um, the lads have worked really hard over the last three and a half months. Um, they came together as a team, their skill has increased fanatically and from when we started we are to be our best. Well, for us to win this tournament obviously is, will, will be a massive achievement. We have definitely prepared to win. We, are, we, have, uh, we have been training to win. But, um, you know, we are playing against tough opposition. Uh, one is a tough team, China is a tough team for us. Well, I've been involved in rugby in Brunei since 2004. Uh, as I understand it at the moment, um, there is a, a groundswell of uh, rugby coming through to primary school kids down in Kanaga, which is uh, in the southern, uh, the southern part of the country, uh, up here in the capital area. There's also a massive amount of interest. Um, we have, uh, out of the four universities in the country, two of them have rugby teams. So uh, there's definitely a growth, but the challenge is to get people in and to keep that growth, to, to keep that momentum going. I've been playing rugby now since the age of five um, and I think rugby has brought me on as a person and with working together as a team and being part of the team it, just, it, brings, you, it brings things out in you that you wouldn't get in maybe a single sport or a single man sport. So I see rugby as a massive family sport, um, it makes you think about being part of the team, being part of the family and yeah, you know, I wouldn't be where I am now if I, wasn't, if I didn't play the sport. Rugby on Guam has, has established itself in the high school level with every high school on Guam playing rugby. Boys playing 15s, girls playing 7s, but every high school student has the opportunity to play. We've moved down into the middle schools and now all middle schools, private and public, have access to rugby and uh, so that's where our growth comes, building up our under 19, under 18 level tournaments so that uh, we have more players rolling into the national teams but uh, basically it starts with the high school level people. Um, at this point we're just pretty much ticking off all the boxes, um, we've done all we can um, in terms of preparation, field training, um, the, um, this year we have about half the team coming on as uh, debutantes, so it's a good experience for them to take home um, their first tour being a uh, successful one, and then um, hopefully they just get better from there. Um, rugby means everything to me, uh, really. It's uh, not just the game, but what what it teaches you um, on and off the field, uh, just the values you, it, it instills in you. Um, in life and as a person, it's something that just you carry with you every day and uh, really, really, really changes everything. Like, uh, we've been training for three months and we have been committing um, KB Bandar about three times a week. Um, other than that, we have been going hit, hitting the gym as a team and it's good to get people together, to finally to train together weekly. Yeah, uh, we, we last played Guam back in 2008. Uh, about 10 years ago. Um, now we have uh, a younger but a stronger team. It will, it will boost up the rugby in Brunei if we win this tournament. We have a get into rugby program. We're from grassroots level and he has been, teachers has been picking up the sports to teach school and the other thing is uh, I personally see people who don't have a field to play but they play on street. So rugby, yeah, it's, it's growing slowly but consistently in Brunei. I played rugby about half of my life and personally I played a lot of sports but rugby, the, the difference is uh, they come in the tree uh, among the team and it's like life, you know, like 
Um, the beautiful thing about rugby, you will always get hit and you will knock down, but you always have to pick yourself up. And just, um, it's not you yourself, it's your team who pick yourself up. 